these letters, I don't know where they are now, that you don't see them anymore, but um, there was this whole thing of, you know how cities started branding themselves as if there was no other thing to do but brand yourself and get as many tourists in as possible. I believe cities now regret ever doing such things. Those who, a few people make money out of it, but I, it does choke cities, Barcelona, um, Amsterdam, everywhere, you know, we suffer from these, the people aren't bad, they're just too many people at once. And you had these letters, and what was nice about these letters is the way uh, people would climb up, people who would normally, who looked a little stiff, it didn't matter, you saw these letters and they would climb up, take a photograph, I have time lapses of these letters. And there was another set, not quite as big as that, that would travel, or two sets, they would travel around the city. So you'd suddenly see this I Amsterdam, the I, and A and M from Amsterdam were red and the rest is white. And then later on, the new mayor, came, when she came in, she said, well, this is a bit egocentric, so we don't need the I Amsterdam. Um, the I Amsterdam, of course, is a kind of uh, riff on the I love New York. I don't know if people see it as I Amsterdam, but the other day I saw there's a, um, what do you call it, a motor show? And somehow they have the I International Amsterdam Motor Show, I-A-M-S, but anyway, that's a side thing. The fact is these letters did give people a lot of joy. They might have annoyed others, but I never, ever saw anybody, I never saw them harming anyone. I just saw them as one of those things that gave people something to do rather than just sort of stand in a, a queue and line up to grab a cookie or get a particular uh, brand of French fries. Um, I actually miss them. Uh, I don't know what other Amsterdamers think, but I do miss those letters because they were just, I don't know, just very simple, ordinary way to uh, enjoy yourselves.